there was a family which uh, the seven sons were in a family. A man and a woman had seven sons. Uh, the first six sons were strong, tall, handsome. The seventh son was weak and ugly, and the and his brothers made fun of him, and made his life pretty miserable. Then, when the parents died, then they really made him miserable. Uh, they made him do the hard and menial tasks, uh, sweeping and cleaning and so forth, and he was very unhappy. And he thought, I will go see the god Zanahari, the god Zanahari, and I will ask Zanahari to make me strong, tall, and handsome. So, he w one morning he went out to the road. There was an old man there. Uh, where are you going? I want to find Zanahari. Uh, can you help me? Yes. Cross that f uh, climb that mountain. On the other side of that mountain you will find a sugarcane field. Do not stop there. Do not take, do not touch the sugarcane. It belongs to Zanahari. Then you will pass through an orange grove. Do not eat, do not even touch an orange. Do not eat any. They belong to Zanahari. Then you will cross another mountain. Uh, you'll see oxen there. Do not throw stones at the oxen. That's what people do, I guess. Uh, don't touch them. They belong to Zanahari. You'll pass a pond. Don't drink any water there. It belongs to Zanahari. Uh, then finally you will reach Zanahari's home. His wife will come to the door, uh, be very polite to her, and when she offers you water, do not touch the jug when you drink. Um, so the boy set out on his journey and it was just as the man had said. Uh, he crossed the sugar, sugar cane field, uh, he passed through the orange grove, uh, he climbed the mountain, the second mountain, uh, he passed the pond, uh, some other details maybe, and finally came to the home. Uh, a woman came to the door, uh, the boy was very polite to the woman, and she offered him some water. Uh, yes, please. Uh, and she brought the water in a jug, but the boy did not touch the jug, reached out, uh, reached his head out, and the woman poured water into his mouth. Then Zanahari came into the room, uh, and uh, what do you want? I want to be uh, big, uh, strong, and handsome. Uh, did you do any of those things? I won't enumerate them again. Uh, did you touch this? Did you drink this? Did you do any of those things? No, I didn't. Uh, then Zanahari asked his wife, Does he have good manners? Is he polite? Very polite. And he didn't touch the jug when he drank. Fine then, I will grant your wish. Suddenly the boy was big, tall, and handsome. He went back home, and his brother said, Wow, uh, impressive, how did this happen? Zanahari helped me. So they thought, hmm, maybe if we go to see Zanahari, he will make us even bigger, even stronger, even more handsome. So they set out. They met the same old man, the same old man gave them the same instructions, and they went. But they ate some of the sugar cane. They were hungry. They ate an orange. They drank water from the pond. They threw stones at the oxen. Uh, and when they arrived, they were rude to Mrs. Zanahari, uh, and they held the jug in their hands when they drank. Zanahari came out, asked the questions, she told him, all, oh, first asked them, did you, did you, did you, yes we did, sorry, yes we did, sorry, and yes, touched the jug. Well, you are animals, so I will change you into animals. And he changed one into a lizard, one into a frog, one into a snake, low animals, um, a crocodile maybe, 
uh, I don't remember what else, and he changed them into animals. Um, maybe the story shows uh, it shows various things. Uh, the depth of the desire of the youngest son to be changed, his willingness to 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 what should we say renounce certain uh, pleasures or even needs to give things up to make sacrifices in order to get what he so so strongly so p passionately wanted his brothers were not willing to make those uh, uh, sacrifices they had never they hadn't suffered and so their desire was superficial he had suffered his desire was not superficial was deep Nice little story. The Little Orphan Number one, how many sons did the family have? Number two, why did the six brothers treat the seventh brother badly? Number three, what did the boy decide to do? Number four, Name the six instructions the old man gave the boy. Number five. Why did the other brothers decide to go see Zanahari? Number six. What did Zanahari do to the six brothers and why? Number seven. What lesson can you learn from this story?